Now, I never was big in the chat rooms as a kid. Like, we didn't have that. Back around 2010 and 2011, when websites like Chat Roulette were popular, my friends and I would sometimes mess around with people on our webcam. The website usually peaked on weekend nights, and when we were like 14, we didn't really do much on weekend nights. So I had my friend Peter over, and we hopped on Chat Roulette. It was just my mom home, so we went upstairs with the laptop where we could be as loud as we wanted. Right. We acted like two idiotic 14-year-olds, basically being mean and rude to anyone we saw. Asshole. So basically on Chat Roulette, you'd press go, and it would match you with someone I do remember, else, I do remember this anyone being a thing, else using our webcam. I heard it was like Some a lot of dudes. Some girl appeared to be a couple years older than us. Doing something they shouldn't be supposed to be Her camera quality on. wasn't the best. In public she was areas, sitting in the dark like room with the blue light like filling a decent amount of it. Or just like a doll I'm or not going to get into the like nitty gritty doll. tiny details over what Peter and I said to her. Wow. But we acted like douchey, mean teenage boys to be frank. Because you're an asshole. Then Peter said, who is that behind you? I suddenly this looked behind the girl to sleeping. see what he was talking about. I'm, like, I'm, I'm thinking, I didn't I'm see anyone, like so I right caught here. on that he was joking. She seemed to know he was messing with her right away, too, saying something along the lines of us being little dweebs. Peter what insisted to the girl he was being serious, I played now. along with it. The girl turned around, and like the two of us, she didn't see anyone like that behind little her. Doll, I, All I could see behind her was the rest of the room, which appeared to be Five, us, eight. and her bed tucked in the corner eight. of the room. Peter said there was someone hiding behind her bed. I looked Dude, at Peter, trying girl, to hold in the lantern. There is somebody like in the room. What he was seeing too. I don't I know what. Well, like, what do you do? Bedroom, like, how do you convince the back wall this the girl person room. that there was somebody behind her? He was coming out from behind the bed, you. seemingly Dude, trying to be inconspicuous. Why didn't they think of that? Like, get your phone. The smile window. disappeared as I then realized Peter wasn't joking around. Snap it and I started telling her that someone was actually like, hey, you know, sneaking up behind, behind her. You, you know. Realistically, I assumed it was her brother or something messing with her, trying to scare her. So I said that. I said, it looks like your brother That's is trying to scare you. That's some stuff we used to do. You. She finally turned around, and her reaction was not what I was expecting at all. She screamed at the top of her lungs and jumped back out from her chair onto the desk, crawling backwards while frantically kicking her feet at the person approaching her. We could hear the sounds of books and other items falling from her desk as she kicked and screamed. Her webcam started to shake, as all we could see of her was her legs. The person in her room got an arm's reach of her, and now we could see a black mask over his face. He grabbed the girl and kept screaming, shut up, and her screams only got worse. Peter and I were silent now, simply staring, not knowing what to make of this. The man then looked into the webcam from behind his black mask for a second, and a few seconds later, the screen went dark, and we connected to another random person. Peter and I looked at each other. We closed out from the website and sat there to talk and take like the most awkward second. thing ever. Like, I'd be hysterical. It was possible and this other thing. person probably think I was A lot of people on YouTube stick. at the time played pranks like, on people and tried to to get some she crazy did. reactions. She did. She got, he got real. her. He got her. Almost too real to be a performance. Why, well, it was real. a few days later, I got a text from Peter. It was a link, a God link to a news article about a teenage dead. girl who had been murdered while home alone a few days back. We told our parents because we wanted to be able to get a description of what happened Chabula to the police. Ever. I would sue so Chabula. parents Chabula. coordinated a time for us to sit down I with the two investigators to explain here. everything we saw. We said we were on chat roulette with a blonde girl who looked either 16 or 17, and that's an average sized looking man wearing a black ski mask emerged from a back corner of her room and started to attack her on camera but only for so long until he turned off the computer. We gave the best description we could. Whether they believed us or not, or whether the information helped or not, was something we honestly never found out. Why do millions of us play well, World of Tanks? Bad YouTube. See, YouTube, you don't get to copyright strike, but they put the ads in their video. came up with the brilliant idea of exploring the deep web after hearing all the craze about it. Everybody and their mother was claiming how the deep web was some dangerous, crazy part of the internet that because nobody should ever it go is. Others said these people didn't know what they were talking about. You don't know what they're talking the deep about. Web is they're probably in on it. It's extremely boring and interesting. Dudes I that are telling you to go to the deep web or trying to find your address so they can murder you. I They're needed already to already download a special killer. web browser called Tor, which allowed you to visit websites ending with a .onion domain. .onion. When 
when I had the browser, I didn't know where or how to start, so I googled where to start on the deep web, and that gave me a page full of archived links to the deep web. Crime Network is one of the most active. The page scrolled down links. forever. There must have been the thousands of links. I finally decided to click on one. It was a dot onion link that led to another archive of links. It took a while to load, but there I was on another page of probably thousands of links. Only the background to this page was now black, and the links were red. I scrolled down until I found a link to a chat room. This also took forever to load, but I think it was called Backdoor Fire Chat or something. I put in a quick username, ABC1234, and I was entered into the chat. There appeared to be only three people in the chat, but messages from hours, even days before, were still in the chat log. Most of the messages people left were links. Hardly anyone had been saying what the links led to, though. One of the other users, whose username was something ominous, like username 157 or something, said something directed to me. He asked what I was looking for. I thought for a second, then typed out, I'm looking for the darker part of the deep web. He didn't say anything for a minute. Name, then he posted a link. He didn't say what the link was to, so I asked. I waited another minute for him to respond, but instead he apparently signed out from the chat so that it was just me and one other person. So I clicked on the link, and I swear it had to have taken at least two minutes for the page to finally load. It was an unlabeled website with a black background and a banner at top with a picture of a living room with a red satanic symbol oh, on the Oh, hell, table. hell no, hell no. All the text seemed to be written in some Literally. weird language. It seemed to be Hebrew characters. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. There were also a bunch that. of buttons, also written in whatever language this was at the top I'm of the page. Up. I clicked one of the middle buttons, and after a long loading time, a black chat room took over the screen. Messages with more of the Hebrew or whatever language filled the chat room. In one of the messages, though, two words stuck out that were written in text I could actually read. That's the language again. Well, I tried to exit the chat, but my mouse started to lag. Then the other user in the chat room posted a picture of my face. Yeah, well, well, it was well, clearly well. taken just now through my webcam. Oh, hell no. Then he sent another. Oh, let me another. get a picture of my webcam face like Constant this. Constant picture right. showing my horrified face basically frame by frame. I, I tried moving the mouse there. and clicking out of the browser, but it was frozen. And my computer just kept making the error noise as more messages I couldn't read were sent, as well as more pictures of my face. I pressed down the power button on the laptop for like 10 seconds, and it finally turned off. Even turning off the laptop seemed to take longer than usual. Yeah, because you're on the damn deep web. Missing, dark web, still my bad. Deep web and dark web are different things. I left my computer off for 12 hours and put a post-it note over my webcam from there on. I also deleted Twitter Mark. and never visited the dark web again. Yeah, I bet you didn't. Sometimes you gotta learn lessons the hard way. Okay, copyright, copyright. Love the links, love the ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dudes Remember that little feature ads. on the original Nintendo DS called Picto Chat? <laughs> it was like a little chat Dude, room you could join of, with anyone um, else using a DS within a certain range. There was a chat group My like house that. is right um, down the block from the town street in our neighborhood, I, I with all the pubs maybe, and festivities so. and such. When I was 12, DS, the Nintendo DS was any... really in its prime, especially the Pokemon games. There was a spot That'd in town Xbox, down the block for me, think, tucked I'm between a couple stores with a few like benches that I'd walk to all the time to meet up with my friend Carl, so that we could battle in Pokemon usually. Actually, it was a spot where a lot of kids would be walking around with their DSs. One night, instead of playing Pokemon, Carl and I were just messing around on the Picto Chat feature, sending each other inappropriate pictures and dumb messages laughing our asses off. That I remember so taking funny. note of how it's much the leaves were starting day. to sway to nearby, how the wind was apparently starting to pick up. Then, we both got the ding uh, like when someone else would enter the chat. It also said on the screen, now entering, Joe. Carl and I looked up at each Joe? other smiling, because no. it was funny but weird that someone else had joined. Yeah, it's very we weird. We looked around our immediate surroundings, in that little square yeah, between Joe. buildings that we were sitting in. But it was a little dark to see anything outside of the light hanging from the side of one of the buildings. So we went along with it. I wrote, hey Joe, with my stylus. He responded back with keyboard text, saying hey. 
So Carl wrote with his stylus, where are you? Joe sent back a message in more keyboard text, saying, I see you. Carl and I looked up at each other once again, since it was obviously a strange thing for him to say. We looked around again. Right Joe there. sent Run. another message saying, you guys come I'm, here I'm, a lot, don't I'm, you? I'm I wrote back this time using the keyboard instead of Freedraw, saying, yeah, who are you and where are you? Well, I'll be right back. Then. This well, Joe person bed, sent a so picture. It was some dramatic. squiggly, fluffy looking object. My first guess was that it was a cloud. He's in a tree. I typed He's back, above you. Is that a cloud? Go! Joe said, he no, must have swooped down and get that ass. I typed back, why? Literally. He typed back, it's where I'm hiding. What? Where For the I'm third hiding? time, Carl oh, and I yeah, exchanged well, glances. Too. You well, too. Carl screamed out you finally, too. who's out there? You too. I looked back down at the DS and saw hey, another Joe picture G. from Joe. It was similar to his nice last book. picture, but more detailed. I, I picture like, like I this dude really sounded like Pennywise. Is like, it a bush? Like on the TS, is like trying to get these DS. Like then I heard a chunk. You want a nice bush, I mean. It sounded like you come right over on here. top of me. You know, do. I knew Carl you heard know, it too, do. because we once again oh. looked at one another. But then, I saw his eyes focus on something behind me. I turned and saw some guy slowly standing up from a big bush that sat behind my bench. Uh, he yeah, towered what? over me, and as he looked down at me, he had on a very wide smile. I remember his teeth were small and his gums took up most of his smile. Then, he put both his hands on my shoulders, not in a gentle way. He grabbed my shoulders and squeezed them with a tight grip, and I screamed. Yeah, that's a good Carl thing. and I ran for our bikes. And as I, I initially started to pedal, like desperately girl. trying to pick up speed, I heard the clock nah, of the footsteps and behind us. Beat him up Thankfully, we picked run. up enough speed and got back into public like view on the road. And only then did I look back. The man wasn't following us. We went straight to my house and told my mom and dad, who forbid me from going to town alone at night. They, 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 I don't they called my Carl's kids parents ass. to recommend they do the same to their son. I was never allowed to, I'm, I Even was if never they allowed to put that dark, restriction uh, on anywhere. me. There's no way I would have ever gone back to that spot at Smart. night. It actually freaks me out to wonder how many times that guy had to a have lot. watched us on our DSs a to lot. have known 